A recent study by the World Wildlife Fund shows that four of seven marine protected areas in Belize provide up to 19 million U.S. dollars per year in economic benefits from tourism recreation. This figure, however, reflects only a fraction of Belize's barrier reefs total socio-economic value to Belize. The study looks at the recreational, um, the, the, in, the, the investment costs um, from recreational um, activity within the, the marine protected areas, um, which would be user fees, for example. But even broader than that, we look at the, to the total tourism impact um, from other tourism operations um, that are linked to those reserves, such as um, dive operators, you know, um, operators that carry out um, snorkel trips, um, liveaboards, um, kayaking, um, resorts um, and hotels that resides within these um, these reserves or on the boundary of these reserves that then um, have some investment you know or re receive if investment related to activities tourism related activities linked to the reserves the, the respective marine protected areas that we analyzed the four marine protected areas used for the study are the blue hole and half moon key natural monuments glover's reef atoll marine reserve and laughing bird key national park the valuation is on par with other global sites. The World Wildlife Fund, along with partners, identified the need to quantify the economic value of the World Heritage Site in Belize to highlight its potential as a key economic driver and to catalyze the necessary efforts for the preservation of its outstanding universal value. This study carried out by the WWF main objective was to develop a set of monetary values that can be used to support and promote the management of the seven marine protected areas that make up Belize's World Heritage Site. It looked primar primarily at the Blue Hole and um, Half Moon Key Natural Monuments, the Global Reef Marine Reserve, and the Laughing Bird Key National Park. The study has identified realistic and replicable estimates of the economic value of goods and services of the reserve system. It is estimated that per year, Blue Hole and Half Moon Key Marine um, natural monuments combined can provide between 2 to 5.8 million U.S. In, in economic benefits in direct use through um, recreational tourism. Global's Reef Marine Reserve can provide between 2 and 8.5 million U.S. per year, and Laughing Bird Key National Park can provide between 1.5 million to 4.5 million U.S. per year. An additional informal benefit transfer conducted indicates that there is potentially much greater additional value associated with the MPAs in the form of other benefits. This, ladies and gentlemen, is not surprising to us and is consistent with the value of other sites such as the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Other benefits provided by the Belize Barrier Reef World Heritage Site include productive fisheries, a range of important ecosystem services, including vital protection against hurricanes, Home to almost 1,400 species, the Belize Barrier Reef is one of the most diverse ecosystems in the world and a recognized UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1996. But this system has been on UNESCO's in danger list since 2009. Some 192,000 people benefit from the system that is valued around half a billion US dollars. We also had done previous research that looks at um, um, how much, um, how many Belizeans in, are dependent on, on our marine protected areas, no? on our World Heritage Site? And we found that 190,000 Belizeans are directly or indirectly dependent on our um, barrier reef system. Looking at all these numbers, um, how are you able to express how important it is that we put in these measures, especially considering that we are still on the in danger list? Yes, um, the, the, the contribution provided by these uh, marine protected areas are vast. No? Today we only speak about a little, you know, a fraction of that, no? um, just looking at um, you know, mainly tourism. Um, the, investment, the, the investment, of course, has to be um, on par or even higher because we're getting so much from them. No? And we should also do all we can to try and um, protect, invest, invest in protecting and managing this, these reserves and try to address the indicators that have put it, um, that, that um, UNESCO has asked the government to address to get it off the endangered list. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.